Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Started off a little rough today. Ah, uh, number one, it's hot as heck. We were ha we were flying the drone, was trying to do some cool stuff with the drone. Then my phone overheated. So then I had to just emergency land the drone. I don't know. I'm just discombobulated right now. And then I was shooting this rifle. The turret wasn't on zero. I realized it. So then I put it on what I would assume would have been zero. So I went up to the 50 and just tried to do some prone shooting real quick. In shorts. And then look at this, man. I don't know if y'all can see the whelps right there. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but you can definitely see the red. It's got some whelps, but I put that freaking knee right in the middle of some some uh, bull nettle. Yeah, dang, man. And I got a little bit on this knee, but it's on the outside. Yeah, it's a little whelped up here, too. You can see it. Yeah, dang, man. I tell you what, I'm in piss poor shape this morning, or this afternoon, I should say. Oh, I am on fire. Ah, uh, let's go down the range, let's talk for just a quick second, and then we'll come back and talk about this beautiful, beautiful gun. <laughs> Alright, so we were trying to figure this gun out a little bit, right? And so I came up to the 50, shot prone here, and then uh, I put these three rounds right there. Uh, just kind of messing around, just making sure that we are right there on zero. But I promise you that gun is going to shoot much better than that MOA group we have going on right there. But regardless, oh my gosh, guys, I am on fire. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was, I was in. Oh gosh, it was burning like crazy. Want to go? It's calming down a little bit now. It takes about five or ten minutes. Depends on how bad the exposure is. But we got a new target set up. We got this gun from a friend. He said, "Hey, try it out. Shoot it. It's a shooter." I'm like, "Okay, cool. I'd love to, man." And we'll talk more about it when we get up range. And I shot a couple rounds with the drone, trying to mess around, see what was going on, see how this thing was doing, get some cool film with the drone. And I went back and I had my issues with the drone. And then I came up here. There was no bullets on target at all. And matter of fact, I hit up there at the top of the berm. And uh, so I went back and. Um, the turret wasn't on zero so lesson number one for today is always find out if it's if it's on zero double check it uh, he doesn't have zero uh, set stopped or he didn't have the zero set the zero stop set so um, I went back down to zero came up to 50 shot it just laying after I burned the heck out of my knees I was really irritated as heck I got the Ranger laid across the back seat of the Ranger and just kind of generically held it on my shoulder shot one about an inch and a half low so i figured okay that's got to be zero and then i went to the hundred shot a few rounds real quick not even really trying and uh we had two like right on top of each other and one's a little bit off to the left but that's okay i know exactly which round that was the second round um because that's what i was doing but i was in a hurry my legs were on fire but regardless no excuses we're gonna go back up to the hundred we're gonna see what we can do two sets of three looking for consistency but let's go type with the gun because it's pretty awesome all right so basically what we have we'll start from the top and work our way down to the gun obviously we're going to have a vortex on top man this is a strike eagle 5 to 25 you guys know man you guys know now this is not my gun this is not my rifle not my optic but the groups i run in man vortex is the thing like this is what it is man you can't beat the warranty you can't beat the quality and i just feel like the glass the price the quality the the, the warranty is unbeatable in my opinion guys is what it is now basically what you have is you have a really cool camouflaged out aero precision upper and lower and with the ballistics vantage one and seven twist barrel oh my gosh and of course you know you have your magpul accessories the stock grip all that good stuff because what else are you going to do uh, but man, you're talking about a really nice rifle. This setup here is a little bit on the heavy side, but it's not meant to be just carry around. They actually built this thing to go prairie dog shooting. And uh, I believe, they I know they shot one at a thousand, just over a thousand yards. I believe it was at this rifle. I'm not for sure. What I'll do is I'll put it in the video right here. And that's how far they shot. That's the farthest they shot a prairie dog with this specific setup. I want to say this was the one they did just over a thousand, but I could be wrong. But regardless, he's telling me it's a shooter. I'm like, let's see about that. Regardless, um, he, he supplied us the ammo, which we're going to shoot sparingly. I'm not going to sit here and go crazy. But I would like to see two groups on the top left and top right corner of this thing. 
Oh man, I'm gonna try to keep it quick and simple because it's hot. My cell phone's already shut down once. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, enough talk. Let's shoot. This is what happened. Oh man, man, it's getting a little better. Still warp, still whelped, still whelped up, but it's feeling better. So this is what happened. This is our first set. I, I came down here because I couldn't really. I only saw the one impact on the center, and I saw the one on the left. I'm like, no way. I came down here, and say, what is that? It's like a two and a half inch group. So I was like, oh, everything was hot. Gun was hot because it's sitting out in the sun. Um, and I was like, let the things cool down. I put things in the shade, let things cool down. And this is what we ended up doing here. I doubt very seriously that there's probably me on that first group. Has to be. Has to be. There's no way. No way that gun goes from shooting, what is it, a half inch group to that group right there? No way. Uh, one other video, I saw a guy the other day do something similar on his channel. And I don't really know what to tell you. I don't. I don't. I was messing around and shot a better group than that one ago. And and so, but regardless, now everything is kind of in the shade with me right now. Um, then that thing cooled down. Uh, I was checking the trigger, the trigger pull, and it's about three pounds, four ounces, what I got consistently right now. And so, um, I came down here and changed the battery on this bad boy here, so we can film our impacts now. Let's go for some consistency, guys. Bottom left, you know, bottom right corner. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, I don't know what that first. Girl, I don't know. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I don't. I don't. I don't. Eesh, no. <laughs> I could, guys. I could just delete it all, start over, and be like, no, this is what I did. But I mean, it's not the truth. And the truth is, the first group. I'm gonna assume. I jacked that up somehow. I'm not sure why or how I did that. Don't know. Sometimes I don't think we have answers for the questions in our mind. And sometimes we just don't get them. It is what it is. But regardless, that first group is not acceptable. The second group is right where I expected to shoot. Especially out of an AR platform. My god, that's pretty dang good. Uh, but regardless, we're going to come down here. We're going to do another group of three. Let's get them cool in the shade this time. And then uh, uh, we're going to do it again. So, yeah, man, see y'all in a minute. A cooler right here for the ammo to sit in, man, so that it doesn't uh, get too terribly hot in between shots, man. All right, and you go back into the cooler. I don't know. That right there is about an inch and a quarter in my way. Is this thing on? Yeah, that's like it's on. I don't know. This is the same cool down, and we'll go try again, man. I don't know. We'll see. Not bad. I'm definitely what I see for me consistently. It does shoot. This is gonna shoot to the left for me. Again, it's not my rifle. Uh, it's not my setup, but uh, for me, it's shooting a little bit to the left. But what he was telling me was, with that stack setup right there, they took it great off hunting. I don't know, South Dakota or something like that, and they uh, they shot a prairie dog with that rifle at 881 yards. So 881, I believe, is what they said, uh, which is man, pretty impressive for an AR, I think. Especially a 22 arc. I don't know. I'm pretty impressed with that round. But uh, let's see if we can't tighten that group up a little bit. I don't know. I felt really good about the trigger squeeze. Felt pretty good about the whole thing. But I don't know. Let's we'll see if we can do better.
All right, there's a part of me that wants to shoot it one more time just to see if we can't do better. Um, so this is what we got the first group, second group, and this is our last group. That's about about a three quarter inch group, maybe a little bit bigger, just a little. It's definitely a sub MOA group. But the other two groups are about consistently inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Now, so we shot this gun a few times today, right? And about an MOA or a little bit bigger is about what we get consistently. Um, but I did get one group earlier that was about a half inch MOA. That group down on the bottom is about three quarter, um, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, somewhere around there. Um, I just want to shoot one more group just to see. It, I don't know. Probably should just leave well enough alone. But uh, I think let's shoot one more in this bottom right corner. We have an empty space there. Might as well fill it with something. Throw some lead pellets at it and see what happens. Uh, gun shoots good. I mean, I like the idea of the 22 arc. It's a good fast shooting bullet. Uh, it doesn't recoil much, so it's easy to stay on target. Uh, it's a smooth shooting gun. I wish the trigger was a little bit better, but um, the gun itself shoots good. And so, and I guess I would say we're fairly consistent groups. We do get the random sub MOA group, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, one more time. What? Why not? One more time. All right, guys, last group of three today. Oh. In case you didn't know, it's really, really hot. Okay, so this is what I'll say. I mean, really and truly, we just got down here, and this is our last group here. And it's probably right out of MOA, maybe just a hair bigger. This is our best group on this patch of four, and then, but pretty much uh, the MOA a little bit bigger has been pretty consistent. Um, and then we have had two groups that were sub MOA. Now, what I will say is that um, the gun shoots good. What I would like to do is, uh, it, is if it was my gun, I think I would probably want to spend some time on some different ammo and just see what it likes the best. If I get something a little more consistent, um, yeah. I mean, we definitely hit a sub MOA twice on this gun today. Uh, but regardless, the gun shoots good. I mean, it's a it's a good shooting round. I think it has a lot of potential, especially out of this platform. I think it's gonna it's got a lot of potential. I don't know what rounds are available for it, but I would like to spend some time under the gun and just see and just see different ammo and just kind of get a better perspective of it. But for what I see right now, it is a good shooting gun. Uh, AR platform, I think if you get anything out of AR, shoot to MOA, I think that's pretty good. You get sub MOA, it's fantastic. Um, we're shooting anywhere between, we've had a 5 8 inch group roughly earlier today when I was, my knee was on fire. And then we had a 3 quarter inch group there, but for the most part, most of our groups, and I'm being honest, is about an MOA or a little bit bigger. I think some of those there, I think these right here are about an inch and a quarter. I'm looking at them right now, probably an inch and a quarter. Those two groups on top are probably an inch and a quarter each. And then the one on the bottom right is about an MOA, about an inch. And then um, the one on the left is probably about 0.8 is what I'm going to say. Um, so yeah, it's a good shooting gun. We got some fairly consistent, fairly consistent shots out of it. Everything for me shoots to the left, no doubt about that. But again, it's not my gun, regardless. Um, man, if you guys don't know what the 22 Arc is, it is a new round. Um, man, I'm glad I get to play with it. I may see if he lets me keep this gun a little bit and play with some different ammo. I'm not sure what's available, but I wouldn't like mind messing around a little bit with it. Um, again. It's up to him. It's his gun. But regardless, I do love you guys. I will see y'all later.